Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. I know y'all probably tired of my ice cream videos, but I got a special one here for y'all today because this is my favorite ice cream. As y'all saw in my previous post, I got a new ice cream maker. I'm excited to get able to use it. Only thing I don't like about these new ice cream makers, the things are so thin. They don't make them as thick as the old school ones we used to have. They used to be so thick. These things are so thin, paper thin. That's the only thing I don't like about it. And they don't hold probably the coolness like the old thick ones did. But until my other one gets fixed, that's what I got to do with it. So anyway, we're going to make some old school strawberry ice cream, y'all. First thing I'm going to do, explain to you how I make my strawberry base. For many, many years, I've been... I could not find the right ice when I love strawberry ice cream. I said, how do you make it really strawberry? So I used to put just sliced strawberries in it. That didn't do it. I used to take strawberries and blend them up. That didn't do it. I used to take strawberry and blend water with it. That didn't do it. I used to take strawberry and put a little sugar on them and blend it. didn't do it. So what I had to do, I think a lot of, I come up with a lot of recipes and ideas, y'all, when I'm driving in the middle of the night. That's how I think of my best recipes and things like that that's new so I said I need to do a compote now I'm gonna do a put the recipe for this compote I didn't do it I'm not doing a compote with this video because the compote what I need to do it need to be two or three days before and this is a strawberry compote right here see this let me put it right here where y'all can kind of see it that's a compote all this is and you'll see in the recipe it's a cup of water a cup of sugar it's like a sugar syrup kind of with strawberries, but I slice the strawberry and you need to make sure you got really nice, red, deep, sweet strawberries. I take those, a pound of strawberries, quarter them up, put them in a pot with a pound of, not a pound, a cup of granulated sugar, a cup of water, let it boil exactly 10 minutes, take it off, put it in the refrigerator and let it sit in there at least two days. And the flavor is going to be very, very concentrated. Just like this is. It's going to be a thick syrup too. After it, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do now, this stuff is so good. You can eat it like this. I'm going to put it in the blender here. I got a blender here behind me. And I'm going to blend this up. Hold on just a second. Toss it up here. <laughs> That's it. And this is what you get, y'all. And I'm not going to strain it or nothing. I did it strain. I said I like the a little strawberry bits in my ice cream when I make it. And this is the base. This is going to be the ice cream base right here for the strawberry. Very simple, but it changed the whole concept of your ice cream. So y'all hold on just a second. Get my blender here, and I'm making this for my neighbor and my neighbor's kids. They love this. I make this ice cream all the time, y'all, to be honest. So, anyway, like I told you, it's going to be a recipe all about kids this weekend. So, I got my blender here. Y'all know how I do. Blend the eggs up here. Add the sugar. Four cans of milk, and y'all know I usually add two cans of water. But with this, I'm adding only one can of water because I have a this here base to go in there. So that's going to eliminate one can of water, y'all. Like I say, y'all, this is a very simple recipe. Only thing, just like my regular ice cream, the only thing I'm not doing is adding... An extra thing of water to this. Well, ain't nothing like strawberry ice cream, y'all. Okay, I got two more cans of milk to add in here. And we'll be ready to put this in the ice cream freezer. We'll have ice cream here in about 45 minutes, y'all. Can't go wrong with that, right? 
And like I say, I, do, I say this every video, I do not cook my eggs. My mama never did. We never got sick. I've never gotten sick. But if you have a thing, a uh, 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 very harsh, uh, cautious about raw eggs, you can uh, cook your eggs a little over a double boiler, if you like, and that'll eliminate the egg, raw eggs. Okay, mix this all up. That's it, y'all. The base is ready. Now, all I'm gonna do now, just over here out the way. I'm gonna pour this in my near. Move this over so y'all can see here. Can y'all see my new ice cream thingy? Okay. I'll give you a close up shot there. Okay. Pour this in my new ice cream freezer. cream color. Now, all I'm going to do now, put my dasher in here, the top on here. Like I say, y'all, this is the first time I ever use this thing, so we're about to see how this thing work out here. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my ice in here with my salt. Get my salt here. Y'all already know how I, how I do it. You got to layer your salt and your, uh, and your ice. What I do, put some ice first. And I put a layer of salt. Salt going to come out of here. Culture saw, ice cream saw. I always use ice cream saw. My mama, matter of fact, she just used regular table saw. She didn't even use ice cream saw a lot of time. And I do that so it didn't get all evenly frozen around the edges, y'all. Salt, salt, I want to come out here today, y'all. Come on, come on, salt. Bit more ice. Now I want to put my get my top on here, my motor on here. And then I add more salt after I get to put the motor on here. It's the first time we use this thing, y'all. So it's gonna be exciting for both of us here. Get on there. There we go. Move this around. Plug it in here. Hope for the best. There we go. I guess it's a lot quieter than my other ice cream freezer. I'm gonna put a little bit more ice on here. A little bit more salt. And like I say, every 10 minutes I'll come check it. If you need more ice, I add more ice and salt. That's it, y'all. Nothing to it. So we'll be right back here when it's ready. Okay, y'all, we back here. Let's turn this thing off. All right. Let's see what we got here. Look at this, y'all. Look at that ice cream, strawberry ice cream. Look at that. Let me shake as much as this I can off here. Off of this beater, damper. Mm, look at that. Look at that strawberry ice cream. Okay, now, y'all already know what I'm going to do. Let me taste this here right quick. 
Got a spoon right here. Let me take this here. Look at this. Mm. Look at that, y'all. Mm. And the strawberry taste is so... Mm. Let me put this to the side. I got to get this out of here and pack it down, y'all. Y'all know how I pack this down. Put this out. Put this back in here. Put the top back on here. Do with the little stopper. Here it is right here. Y'all remember I used to not have a stopper a thing to close it up. Then my old one had to use foil. So now I'm back to modernize. Then I put the ice right back on here. And I'm going to pack this ice cream and let it get really, really hard. Put some salt on here. And I'm going to get this thing really, really hard. And when I come back in about an hour, I'll be able to scoop it out in bowls or serve it. If you're serving it to family and friends, and I'm going to just scoop this out. And I definitely got people coming over to eat some ice cream. This one right there. That's it, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to cover it with this towel here. Put a little bit more ice on here. Cover it with my towel, and that's it. I'm going to let it sit here for about an hour, let it pack down and get hard, and we'll come back, y'all, and scoop it out. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Let me get up here a little closer here. Now, y'all know I'm going to scoop this out. I'm going to knock this ice off of here. We're going to scoop up this. It's over. All nice and scoopable now. See that? And I just scoop it right into the into my containers for the freezer. And y'all, I do this every two weeks, y'all. As y'all probably know. I go through this much I this much homemade ice cream, y'all. This is strawberry, so this is gonna go a little bit quicker. I'm gonna go through a lot quicker with the strawberry. And that's it, that's how I do it, y'all. Let's scoop right there. See that? That's the key of getting it hard. One more container here, y'all. close this video out y'all and I'll finish scooping this later and getting it in the freezer but y'all can see this uh we'll get one more taste here I got plenty here down at the bottom see that look at that mm, mm, mm. ah that's good so let me close this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please share please subscribe Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twist TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.